then now, shall we see how it's applied in actual cases, Dr. Wu? Yeah, this articulator with uh, camper plane is used, and hinge axis, the condyle and the, the articular are located in Bayron point. The occlusal plane is parallel to the camper plane, and that there is a different 22 degrees from the Frankfurt to horizontal plan. So you can actually see here that the face data and the teeth data exactly match with the articulator. So the data that you would get is actually more accurate than what you would get with the face bow. After merging the 3D image face scan, CBCT, and the upper jaw scan into the same position relation, the occlusal motion can be reproduced in the standard position by seeing the reference plane obtained from the face scan image and the condyler of the CBCT and using virtual articulator of ExoCAD. In addition, by using the jaw motion module, the occlusion motion information measured by Jabri system can be used to reproduce the raw jaw motion in the patient mouth. After matching the face scan 3D image and CBCT, the hinge axis of the condyler and articulator can be aligned the same position. So until now, we actually have not been able to utilize 100% of the articulator's performance. But if you mount it on this way, you can use it completely. The 3D position of the upper and low jaw can be identified as a bony equilateral triangle of, of 110 millimeter from the low jaw central incisor to condyler and about 110 millimeter of intercondylar distance. So as Dr. Wu just said, you can apply Bonwell's triangle theory. So far, we have verified how to mount the articulator accurately through face data. And the dental prosthesis manufactured this way would definitely have good results. I promise you that. At clinics, it reduces the time required to grind the prosthesis to correct the occlusion while it's at the labs. It also reduces the work of remaking these. Anyone can easily create a complete result with just facial data, which is amazing. And now we'll actually see how to apply these at your businesses. When design an anterior prosthesis, the shape and size that is harmonized with the face can be determined by referring to the face scan imaging. And at this stage, as shown earlier, dentist and patient can participate in the prosthesis design the to share correction and desire detail. Select the dental share from the, the export module, tool menu, and go through the simple registration process. A link and create the CAD image is created for personal information protection. After creating the link of the CAD image for the currently desired prosthesis, and you can share it various ways, such as email and online social media. I'm actually very surprised that you can check on the progress of your design using the secured link. You can uh, download it, install the ExoCAD web view for free from App Store or Google Play Store and click the link, view the design file with the ExoCAD web view. ExoCAD dental share not only share file between lab, clinic, and the milling center, but also provide information of the prosthesis to patient so that patient can better understand the final result and apply requirement during the manufacturing process. And better communication with dentist is possible through various information. So speaking from a patient's point of view, I would be even more satisfied because I can see how my teeth fit with my face in advance. Also, if I want to ask for any modifications, I don't have to go to the dental office. I can save so much time using the secured link. Now, let's take a look at how the final result was created, Dr. Wu. Yeah, now we uh, finished the design the, with the ExoCAD. The crown is applied the polychromatic multi-layer zirconia block with the cubic base, and the substructure are applied with uh, polymer material with low modulus elasticity. The crown are seated on the polymer structure. The crown and the substructure are cemented using a small amount of tan bone. Check the patient mouth for centric and eccentric occlusion and correct occlusion. Stain and grazing are finished. Wow, this actually looks very real. Can I ask how long this process usually takes? Usually 
the one week. Uh, surface priming is uh, essential for good adhesion the resin before cementation. The permanent resin cement is used to cement the soft structure, the zirconia crown. The gingiva area is complete using the composite resin. Here is uh, my real desk. Uh, when I'm mixing the color, I usually use the toilet white tile. It's very useful. We can check the very easy original color. What's and that pink yeah, that is material? A, a tiny, fine filler. Uh, we apply it in gingiva area. It's kind of like the gingiva area, and then you can show all the fine blood streams, right? The blood veins yeah, that right. run through it. Yeah, right. Here, here, the, here is. Wow, a, that's very I, realistic, Doctor. I already Dr. applied the tiny detail filler. I'm the imitated the natural gingiva. I'm always looking for the special thing in patient mouth in gingiva area. I can tell because Dr. Wu's product, there's a different gradation of the shades. Yeah, right, right. You put, have lighter shades on top and darker shades on top, just like my teeth, actually, because we don't have one shade of teeth. Um, there's different shades, and I think you really captured that well. Yeah, right. I mean, already used several different kind of the composite resin in dark shade and light shade transparent and uh, translucent. It's a different kind of uh, composite resin uh, used. That is a before treatment. After trying the patient mouth, the patient have a the big smile. Patient is a very satisfied, uh, prosthesis and if a big smile. Doctor, yeah. I think that we can all tell how happy this patient is with his beautiful new teeth. So great job. So Dr. Wu, you've been talking a lot about face data. Could you give us a quick summary? Yeah, through the face scan, you will get more accurate and aesthetic results by considering BP line, mid line, rib line, shape of the teeth matching the, the face, and the size ratio at CAD process. In addition, functional prosthesis can be manufactured by reproducing more accurate occlusion relation and by communicating aesthetic and function requirement with patient and dentist during the manufacturing process. It will become a highly complete prosthesis. Also, it will have a good impact on everyone's business. That's right. After seeing Dr. Wu's presentation, I can really see the benefits of facial data. So I heard that we have a lot of questions that we received during this lecture, but unfortunately, due to time constraints, we can't answer them all. However, if you email us or if you send us messages on Yo Tribe, we will answer them completely. Thank you again so much for joining us.